test for convergence of the series square root of n to the power 4 plus 1 minus square root of n to the power 4 minus 1. Let us take the given series B, series un. Therefore, un is equals to square root of n to the power 4 plus 1 minus square root of n to the power 4 minus 1. Now, we will rationalize un. For rationalization, we have to multiply and divide un by its rationalizing factor. It is clear that the rationalizing factor of square root of n to the power 4 plus 1 minus square root of n to the power 4 minus 1 is n to the square root of n to the power 4 plus 1 plus plus because here we have minus that has to be changed as plus square root of n to the power 4 minus 1 therefore multiply and divide by its rationalizing factor the next step will be now if we see this this is of the form a minus b into a plus b. This is a minus b. This is a plus b where a is square root of n to the power 4 plus 1. And b is square root of n to the power 4 minus 1. We know that a minus b into a plus b is a square minus b square. Therefore it is a square minus b square that is square root of n to the power 4 plus 1 whole square minus square root of n to the power 4 minus 1 whole square whole divided by square root of n to the power 4 plus 1 plus square root of n to the power 4 minus 1 that is equals to also we know that square root of a square is a square root of a square is a therefore here the square and the square root get cancelled therefore here we will get n to the power 4 plus 1 minus n to the power 4 minus 1 by square root of n to the power 4 plus 1 plus square root of n to the power 4 minus 1 and hence here n to the power 4 minus the end of the power 4 get cancelled therefore we get 1 minus of minus 1 is 1 plus 1 that is 2 therefore the next step we have 2 divided by square root of n to the power 4 plus 1 plus square root of n to the power 4 minus 1 that is equals to 2 divided by now we are going to take n to the power 4 out from square root. If we take n to the power 4 out from the square root, it becomes n squared. It becomes n squared. Therefore, taking n squared from each term of the denominator. So we are going to take n squared from here. Similarly, n squared from the second term also. Therefore, take out n squared. When you take n squared out, what happens? This becomes square root of 1 plus 1 by n to the power 4 plus here also you have taken n squared, n power 4 out. Therefore, it becomes n squared because square root of n power 4 is n squared. And hence, here we get square root of 1 minus 1 by n to the power 4. Now, let us take Vn. How to choose Vn? To choose Vn, we have to choose the highest power of n in the numerator of Un divided by highest power of n in the denominator of Un. But in Un, there is no n at all in the numerator. Therefore, we can write 1 divided by in the denominator, what is the highest power of n? It is 2. That is n squared is there and hence vn is equals to 1 by n squared. 
so that when you take the reciprocal, when you take a, a un by vn, this n square n square get cancelled. Okay? Therefore, let us choose vn equal to 1 by n square. Therefore, un by vn is equals to, the whole thing is un, that is 2 divided by square root of 1 plus n power 4 plus square root of 1 minus 1 by n to the power 4 into n square. What is vn? 1 by n square. Since vn is in the denominator, we have to write its reciprocal. What is the reciprocal of 1 by n square? n squared by 1. Thus, this n square, this n square get cancelled and the hence that is equals to 2 divided by square root of 1 plus 1 by n to the power 4 plus square root of 1 minus 1 by n to the power 4. Now, it is very easy to apply the limit. Apply limit on both sides. Limit of u n by v n as n tends to infinity is equal to limit of 2 divided by square root of 1 plus 1 by n to the power 4 plus square root of 1 minus 1 by n to the power 4. Now, when you apply limit, we know that we have to apply limit for numerator as well as denominator. In the numerator, there is no n at all. Therefore, no need of applying limit here. But, there are n in the denominator. Here, 1 by n power 4. 1 by n power 4. Therefore, we have to apply limit to the denominator. Since the denominator consists of two terms. Two terms. Therefore, we have to apply limit for each and every term. And hence, that is equals to 2 divided by limit n tends to infinity square root of 1 plus 1 by n to the power 4 plus limit n tends to infinity square root of 1 minus 1 by n power 4. When you apply limit what happened? 1 by infinity power 4. Infinity power 4 is infinity. 1 by infinity is 0. Similarly here also when you apply limit 1 by n power 4 becomes 1 by infinity power 4. Infinity to the power 4 is infinity. 1 by infinity is 0. Therefore, we get 2 divided by square root of 1 plus 0. 1 plus 0 plus plus. When you apply limit here, it is square root of 1 minus its value is 0. Therefore, 0 and hence that is equals to 2 divided by square root of 1 plus square root of 1. We know square root of 1 is 1. Therefore, 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 by 2 that is equal to 1 which is finite and non-zero. Therefore, by limit comparison test, the two conditions of finite and non-zero are satisfied. Therefore, by limit comparison test, the series un and the vn both behave alike. So, series un and series vn behave alike by limit comparison test. But, what is series vn? Series vn is series 1 by n square. What is series 1 by n square? Series 1 by n squared is of the form series 1 by n to the power p, where p is 2, where the value of p is 2. So, p is 2, which is greater than 1, and hence by auxiliary series or p test or p series, series vn is a convergent series. The limit combination test says that series vn and series un both behave alike but series vn is convergent therefore series un must be convergent and again series un is convergent therefore the given problem is convergent now test for the convergence of the series cubic root of 
n cubed plus 1 minus n. Let us take the given series B, series un. That is, let series un be equal to series cubic root of n cubed plus 1 minus n. Therefore, un is equal to cubic root of n cubed plus 1 minus n. This n can be written as cubic root of n cubed. Therefore, it is of the form cubic root of A minus cubic root of B. So, the n is rewritten as cubic root of n cubed because cubic root of n cubed value is n. Now, we have to rationalize this. To rationalize this, we recall the formula we have learned already. A cubed minus B cubed is equal to A minus B into a squared plus AB plus B squared. Therefore, since the UN is of the form A minus B, if we take the first value, cubic root of N cubed plus 1 as A and the cubic root of N cubed as B, then this will be of the form A minus B. A minus B. But we know that the rationalizing factor of A minus B is A squared plus AB plus B squared. Or the rationalizing factor of a squared plus ab plus b squared is a minus b. So that when you multiply what happened? It becomes a cubed minus b cubed. There will not be any radical symbol. We have only rational numbers. Therefore, the rationalizing factor of a minus b is a squared plus ab plus b squared. Now, we take A equal to the first term of UN. A equals to cubic root of N cubed plus 1. B is equal to the second term of UN. That is cubic root of N cubed. And hence UN is of the form A minus B. What is its rationalizing factor? A squared plus AB plus B squared. Therefore, if you take A equals to cubic root of N cubed plus 1 and B equals to cubic root of N cubed, the rationalizing factor of cubic root of N cubed plus 1 minus cubic root of N cubed is cubic root of N cubed plus 1 whole squared. Whole squared, that is A squared plus cubic root of n cubed plus 1 into cubic root of n cubed that is a into b plus cubic root of n cubed whole squared that is b squared so the rationalizing factor of u n is cubic root of n cubed plus 1 whole squared plus cubic root of n cubed plus 1 into cubic root of n cubed plus cubic root of n cubed whole squared Therefore, multiply, divide un by its rationalizing factor. This is the one we have done here. This is the one we have done here. That is, cubic root of n cubed plus 1 minus cubic root of n cubed is equal to cubic root of n cubed plus 1 minus cubic root of n cubed into cubic root of n cubed plus 1 whole squared plus cubic root of n cubed plus 1 into n and remember that yeah, cubic root of n cubed is n plus cubic root of n cubed whole squared it is nothing but n squared divided by cubic root of n cubed plus 1 whole squared plus cubic root of n cubed plus 1 into n plus n squared but what is the numerator? Numerator is of the form a minus b into a squared plus ab plus b squared. What is its value? a minus b into a squared plus ab plus b squared is a cubed minus b cubed. Therefore, in the numerator, we have a minus b into a squared plus ab plus b squared it becomes a cubed minus b cubed that is q 
cubic root of n cube plus one whole cube because this is a, this is a, this is b. Therefore, it is cubic root of n cube plus one whole cube minus cubic root of n cube whole cube divided by cubic root of n cube plus one whole square plus cubic root of n cube plus one into n plus n square. We know that cubic root of power three. Is the number itself. Therefore, this cube and the cubic root get cancelled. Then we will get only n cubed plus one. Here, cubic root of power three. That is three and the cubic root get cancelled. We get only n cube. In the denominator, we are going to take n cube. Out from cubic root. If we take n cube out from cubic root, it becomes n. It becomes n. Therefore, n into cubic root of one plus one by n cube plus plus. Here also, we are going to take n cube out from cubic root. Therefore, if we take n cube out from cubic root, it is n. Therefore, n into cubic root of one plus one by n cube. We have one more n here plus n square. So here, if you see in the denominator, n whole square, n into n, n square. Plus n square. That is every factor in sorry. That is every term in the numerator consists of n squared. So next step will be this n cube minus n cube get cancelled and hence we get one divided by divided by. Look at this here n whole squared is n squared into cubic root of 1 plus 1 by n whole squared plus n into n, n squared. The rest of the factor is cubic root of 1 plus n cubed plus n squared. That is, every term in the denominator has n squared. Now, now, this is the time to choose vn. How to choose Vn? To choose Vn, we have to consider the highest power of n in the numerator of Un divided by the highest power of n in the denominator in Un. If we consider the numerator of Un, it is 1. It is 1. There is no n at all. Therefore, we have to write 1. In Vn, we have to write numerator as 1. Divided by... Look at the... What is the highest power of n here? Square. That is n squared. Every term has n squared. Therefore, the highest power of n in the denominator is 2. Therefore, we have to take n squared. And hence, Vn is equal to 1 divided by n squared. 1 divided by n squared. After finding Vn, now it is our duty to find the value of Un by Vn. Then we have to take limit as n tends to infinity. First, let us simplify what is the value of Un by Vn. So, Un by Vn is equals to Whatever written here is un, that is 1 divided by n squared. Remember that we are taking n squared out in the denominator because every term in the denominator consists of n squared, we are taking out and hence n squared into cubic root of 1 plus 1 by n cubed whole squared plus cubic root of 1 plus 1 by n cubed plus 1. This is un. What is vn? 1 by n squared. Since vn is in the denominator, we have to write the reciprocal of vn. 
the reciprocal of Vn is n squared by 1. So this is Vn. Therefore, this n squared, n squared get cancelled and hence we have un by vn will be 1 divided by cubic root of 1 plus 1 by n cube whole squared plus cubic root of square 1 plus 1 by n cube plus 1. Now we have to apply limit. When you apply limit as n tends to infinity, 1 by n tends to 0. Here 1 by n cubed. So it is 1 by infinity cube. What is infinity to the power 3? Infinity. So 1 by infinity is 0. So when you apply limit, 1 by n cube becomes 0. Therefore, limit of un by vn is equals to 1 divided by here cubic root of 1 plus this term is 0. Plus, plus cubic root of 1 plus, when you apply limit, becomes 0, plus 1. Hence, that is equals to 1 divided by, cubic root of 1 is 1. So, 1 plus 1 plus 1, 3, that is equal to 1 by 3. What is 1 by 3? Is it finite or infinite? It is a finite quantity. Is it 0? No, it is not 0. Therefore, 1 by 3 is finite and non-zero. These are the two conditions of limit comparison test. And the limit comparison test says that if un by vn, the limit of un by vn is finite and non-zero, then the series un and the series vn behave alike. But here, here, limit of un by vn is 1 by 3, which is finite and non-zero. Therefore, by limit comparison test, series un and series vn behave alike but we know that the nature but we know the nature of the series vn what is series vn series vn is 1 by n squared series vn is 1 by n squared what is series 1 by n squared this is of the form series 1 by n to the power p what is p p is 2 when p is 2 the p test says that the series is convergent therefore the series vn is equal to series 1 by n squared is convergent and hence by limit comparison test series un also 